Motor Racing and Mark Scaife says he has no plans to return to full-time racing despite receiving some offers for next season. Scaife says business ventures would not allow it. One of those was designing the street circuit to be used for the final V8 race of the season next month in Sydney. The Olympic Park street race was a controversial addition to the V8 calendar, but one of the brains behind the design, motor racing legend Mark Scaife, is promising a race to remember. It's really shaping up as a great racetrack. It's, um, it's got all the rise and fall, it's got camber profile change, it's got road surface change, it's got bumps and dips and all the things that make great street circuits. And uh, it'll be unforgiving, it'll have great character and and I'm looking forward to you know what it, uh, what it shapes up like. Some slightly smaller machines and drivers checked it out and also gave it their stamp of approval. I know it's going to be a good racetrack, so I can't wait. Although there is a round in Perth next up, the final Sydney race is the one that's got everyone talking. We've never seen before the end of a championship like we've got with a track that no one's been to. Uh, so, you know, it should be pretty exciting. For me, it's about, um, you, know, you know, getting that trophy, getting my name engraved on it, be the first bloke to, to, to win this Sydney race. It's so, um, you know, Sydney's such an important market for us and, that you know, the, the Telstra 500 is going to be just a, it's a hard, gruelling race and uh, I just can't wait to get my, you know, get my hands on the race car and go for a proper spin. Richards loves the look of the track, although he had some extra obstacles in a recent test run. It was a pretty surreal environment actually. We had a uh, you know a police escort, and we sort of I merged in with the with the normal Sydney traffic. So it was um, we certainly pointed out that race cars aren't very good road cars. Richard is also a keen golfer and was down at Kingston Heath this week playing with Richard Green, and he bumped into an unexpected practice partner. I tell you, it's quite amazing. Tiger Woods turned up and and was chipping next to me, and uh, I'm in awe obviously. Uh, but just the amount of people he, he dragged was, was quite impressive. Uh, I don't know how he, how he focuses on his game. So uh, when you were there, did you kind of turn around a Tiger and go, mate, look, there's a few things you should change? <laughs> it's those moments you go, so, you so go silent and I think <laughs> I just watched him at the ball. Well, Richards definitely won't be making any career changes. Mark Scaife is pretty settled too, all but ending talk of a return to full-time racing. Yeah, I've had some full-time offers, yeah. Yeah, even from the wrong side of uh, the wrong side of the red uh, the red field. So you know that's a it's sort of flattering, obviously, to, to get some offers to to come back and drive the cars. But at the same time, if I don't want to do it full time, and my media commitments now are such that I I, I, w I couldn't do it full time. Scaife will decide early in the new year if he'll again drive endurance events, including Bathurst, while the final race of the V8 season in Sydney is from December four to six. Bernard Cohen. Fox